Um, this award is the Stephen Early Adventure Spirit Award, and uh, it's my pleasure to give this award to uh, Cheryl and Mike Smith, who are here. Um, most of their family lives out in Seattle and Yakima Valley. Um, they have been battling familial ALS in their family for more generations than I can even imagine. Um, and yet they face that every day with, with courage, lightheartedness, wanting to help whoever they can. Uh, they've been incredible um, members of our board and the community. They started an amazing campaign called Ales for ALS, which has grown over the last three or four years, uh, incredibly supporting ALS research. I think 120 brewers or so participated in the program this year. Um, it's just been incredible. And, and meeting their family members um, over the years has been a wonderful experience and, uh, and how courageous they are and what an amazing family. So Mike and Cheryl, please come up and accept the award. friends and colleagues at ALS PDI and the ALS community. We are really honored on behalf of our whole family to um, re be recognized alongside all these other people that have received this award for us. Um, as Steve said, um, I'm a part, I was raised in the Pacific Northwest. I'm a part of a big Catholic family and we are unfortunately also a TDP 43 family. We have a hereditary form of ALS. My grandfather was diagnosed in 1957, but it wasn't for 30 years until my dad was diagnosed um, that we realized that we actually had a familiar form of ALS. Since my dad's death, we've said goodbye to Michael Jim and my aunts Ruth and Joyce and Lois. Uh, currently, Michael Mark is battling the disease, my cousin Greg, and my big brother Scott. So it's the reason we do what we do is because of them. It's it's in memory of the family that we've loved and lost and for those that are so brave and battling ALS right now. And it's for my cousins, some of whom have been tested and know they have the disease and for those others that are not ready to find that out yet. Um, those of us, there are 30 cousins of my generation and those of us whose parent has died or currently lives with ALS, we have a 50% chance of carrying the disease and then passing it on to our children. So it's for that reason that Mike and I started Ales for ALS. Um, and so I'll let Mike explain a little bit about actually what we do. So uh, we're hop farmers. We also <coughs> uh, have a family brewery. We've been, uh, uh, we've been growing hops in our family since 1932. Uh, my son is the uh, fourth generation of our family to uh, pick up the mantle. We started a brewery about three years ago, but about five years ago when Cheryl's brother was diagnosed with ALS, she asked me if there wasn't a way that we could utilize our uh, connection to the brewing community as a way to raise money for ALS. It was about that time that uh, we met Ted Reach. Uh, we went to uh, Corey's fundraiser and uh, Ted really inspired us that um, we could get involved and we could do more. And so, Ted, uh, we'll forever be grateful to you for that. Anyway, we uh, started out the program uh, the next year. 33 brewers raised about 130,000 and found that the program was scalable. And every year since then, we've added brewers around the country up to uh, about 125 this year should raise somewhere in the neighborhood of 600,000, I think. Um, but uh, our, we're not gonna stop there. Our goal has been to get to a million dollars a year. We think we're three years away from that um, at, this, at this rate. It's interesting because when we first started the program, we had to reach out and explain to people why we were trying to raise money for ALS research. In the last couple of years, we have not advertised the program anymore. We've just let it grow organically. And it's very, uh, it's very touching because we receive emails from brewers around the country who hear about the program and they want to join the effort. And invariably it's because they have a colleague, a brother, a family member, a neighbor, somebody that uh, has either battled or is in the, you know, or is in the uh, process of battling this disease. So we feel very fortunate. We met a lot of great people. We were at a beer festival 
in Chico last week, and a brewer came up to me. California is like the greatest state for supporting this program. Of the 120 brewers we had, or 115 brewers, or whatever it was, there's like 40 of them out of California. The young guy came up to me and said, uh, this is our favorite beer of the year to brew. And I said, well, why is that? And he said, because every year we brew it, we have patients or ALS patients or members of ALS families come in and thank us for doing this. And so we get a lot of, uh, a lot of, grat or a lot of uh, satisfaction out of being part of this effort. And so with that, we're, we're, we're certain that the program's scalable. And uh, as long as uh, people like Ted and Augie and Lynn and all these other great people we've met, uh, are going to continue to be in this fight. We're going to we're going to be there with them. So thank you very much.